So my name is Ian Davis, uh, my role is the Health and Safety Environmental and Energy Manager and I work at Tribune Packaging. I guess it would be something that's made out of tin cans, what kind of uh, person or creature that would be I don't know. I guess uh, if it's Norwich then maybe a canary in the shape of a tin can would probably be the most appropriate. <laughs> I'd say every day can be different. There'll be certain things that I do every day, uh, checking in to make sure if there's any uh, kind of unusual work taking place, check to see if everything has been set up appropriately for that. Um, but my job is very much uh, firefighting in a lot of ways, that if something has happened, then I need to go and deal with that, whether that's deal with a situation or investigate something. Um, with regards to routines, it's, there's things that I try to do in a routine, but every day can be different. I can come into something different every single day. Coming in, working as a shift leader, meant I was working with people on the shop floor. My role now is very much about them trusting what I say and not having respect for what I say, but knowing what I'm like to work with that. I'm not someone who's coming externally and I'm telling you, you need to do this and you need to work this way as if I don't know what they have to deal with. I've come from where they work and I have that understanding and also building those relationships. I think for my role especially, having relationships with people is absolutely critical. One uh, course I went on was IEMA for environmental management and that was certainly eye-opening in understanding certainly what's been going on the past dec over the past few decades, uh, not just in this country but across the world and that's definitely made me think differently about what I do. I have more appreciation for working in metal so like I it's kind of shaped what I do outside of work as well as inside of work. I mean, I can't do anything to make us more sustainable. We still produce a metal packaging. Um, there's nothing that I can kind of force the customer to do, but I guess outside of work, I think about what I buy, um, I consider its impact on the world, and I try to minimise my impact as much as possible. And I guess share those thoughts with other people because the difficult thing is, that's how I feel that isn't how everyone else feels. I guess it's not just from a point of view of a sustainable packaging, it's about distribution of wealth. So uh, a lot of IEMA isn't just based on metal and recycling, it's about the impact of everything that's done, whether it's construction, any business in the world, the impact it has. Um, I think it was just understanding like, I'm a logical person. If someone describes something in such a way that makes sense to me, I'm more likely to believe that than someone giving their opinion on something. So a lot of what I learned was factual based. That certainly changed my perception in trusting that information and trying to consider those when I think to myself, if I do this thing, what are the repercussions for it? I never planned on doing this role. This isn't something that I went to school, college, or thought even five years ago that this is what I'd be doing. It's been available and open to whatever might come your way. Not, not necessarily thinking, how is this going to benefit me? Because that tends to be how a lot of people respond to, can you do this thing for me? Well, what's in it for me? I've just made myself available to support and I've been fortunate to end up in the position I'm in. It's really just trying to improve awareness. So for us to understand, for, for people to understand their impact on what they do. Yes, a lot of my environmental role is ensuring that we're operating within a safe and um, legal way. At KP, sustainability is in every solution, from recyclable medical device films to recycled content card films. We're leading the future of sustainable packaging.
So one thing kind of is partially to do with my role as well is to um, have people do start up and shut down procedures. So it says that before I start running this line, I carry out these checks, make sure I've got all my equipment, it's safe to use. And at the end of the day, I make sure I've cleared everything away, everything's in the right bin, switched everything off from an energy point of view. And I guess having seen people now start to do that, I think, oh wow, that is, you know, it's, it's really easy for me to say, do this thing and then off you go because people don't, you need to build that habit and until people do it religiously and they're challenged when they don't and they're encouraged when they do, that's when that becomes routine. And in some areas that has actually become routine and that's quite rewarding that something which I believe is the right thing to do and other people have eventually come around and they realize it's the right thing to do. So I guess it's changing people's perceptions. I think more carefully about what I purchase now. Um, I guess from a packaging point of view for sure. So I'll try not to buy plastic if I don't have to. Um, I notice when companies have made that change as well, even at, like um, I buy packets of nuts they may put them in paper, I think fantastic. I'm glad that you do because I wouldn't buy them in plastic in somewhere else. So it's recognizing when businesses have made that change. I guess that's how that shaped my perception on what I do, what impact does it have? And I'm not, I don't think I'm perfect. I know there's things that I could do better, but I just try to make more careful decisions, taking, taking kind of the world into account. Making sure we recycle as much as we can, not waste or waste as little as possible as well. That's what impact or what what influence we do have, what's within our remit. So energy as well, I know, I mean, energy isn't directly to do with sustainability, but it's still a cost and still has a, a broader impact. And we try to reduce our energy use as much as possible. And it is as simple as awareness for the guys to make sure they switch everything off at the end of the day. They don't leave anything running because that's just unnecessary energy being wasted and that contributes to cost as well. Um, my rule of thumb would be um, if you trust the source then that's the first thing. If you don't trust the source try to understand what do you think the motivation behind the piece is. So is it from a company which is producing something which you're skeptical about and suddenly they're um, saying that it has these perks about it or oh look this is made from a recyclable whatever it might be. So I guess Understanding the motivation, because I think there's a lot of um, research done, I'm going to sound really like tinfoil hat, research done where companies will bring in who they want to have in to produce the information and the data that best, best fits their um, motivation. But for us, I think um, the biggest, I guess, frustration that I saw personally with uh, metal versus plastic for paint cans is when plastic paint cans have a recycle logo on the top of their tin or their, well, they're not tin, they're plastic, where it says it's made from 50% recycled material and it's just the um, influencing use of a recycling logo which doesn't mean it's recyclable but people don't think it's people's perception is reality if people see that logo on there they'll automatically assume it's recyclable and that they're buying a trusted product and that it's okay to use but when businesses uh, use that that's frustrating and that was definitely something I, I identified as being frustrating when that started to happen I wouldn't say there's one piece of legislation, I guess it just needs to be fair legislation that if there's a tax attributed to the way in which a product is made, it should be in relation to its impact on the world. How is it that it's that there's not a greater impact on producing a plastic material when we know that it is not good to it's not good to produce but it's also very, very difficult to recycle. Somewhere beautiful that, uh, to remind people that this is, this is some aspects of the planet and that 
this might not be here if we continue working in the way that we do.